Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Bella Loopy and welcome to my channel where you get a bit of everything but most importantly a sip of soul searching. So today I really want to talk about something that's important to me and as you can see from the title below, I'm sure you have an idea of what it pertains to. I'm just going to jump right into it. This is not a video for pity purposes. Honestly, this platform that I have is honestly for growth, for people who are on a journey of growth and just need a platform to be free and express themselves let's get right into it so um i would have to say for three years now i felt like i've had this dark cloud over my head and i'm not gonna call it depression because i feel like that gives it too much of a title a strong title with a lot of negative connotations so i'm gonna just call it temporary dark cloud for now and i feel like it got to the point where I just felt like everything that I wanted to do and become, I didn't. And I became a failure. And nobody is proud of me, <laughs> especially myself. I'm just, I don't have a purpose. That is how I felt slash still kind of feel because I'm working towards growing. But yeah, that's what I was uh, going through. I've now realized after a lot of you know crying and breakdowns and just days where i haven't done anything months where i've just stayed in the house and not decided to go out with my friends or spend time with family that this really is a inner battle it has nothing to do with external factors or external influences or blaming everybody else this really is something that we face internally it is until you realize that it's an internal battle where you have then made the next step to get the hell out of it. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter if you have people in your life who are motivating you, who, who you know, are inviting you out. That's all great and lovely, but when you don't believe in yourself, when you don't have self-love, when you feel like you're a failure, there's not one thing a person can say to get you out of it but yourself. I just think like that is the most important thing into helping you realize when you look up that you do have a dark cloud over your head. But at the same time, you're the one who put it over you. No one else. Not your whoever your spouse is in your relationship, not your boss at your job, not your parents, not your friends, you. You put this dark cloud over your head. And when you start realizing it is when you can start making steps to fix it. I've now realized and I stopped blaming my all the things around me for what I didn't become. Because for the longest while, I feel like I was living for what everybody else wanted for me versus what I wanted for me. Because I felt like if I did what I wanted, I wouldn't make them happy. But if I did what they wanted, I would never be happy. So I feel like after I realized that is when I was like, you know what, now it's time to take steps to to get in this dark cloud off my head because it has been over me for a little bit too long and it's time for growth and your girl's been trying to grow but when you have a dark cloud over your head it's probably the one of the hardest things to do is grow i'm gonna just name a few of the things that i've kind of written down of how i plan on getting over this and how i am currently getting over it so the first thing i did was i really worked on changing my job situation i felt like the job that i was at it just had a lot of negative energy and my season there was done like i didn't have any want to be there anymore um and it was just time for me to move on so i worked extremely hard to find another job which i did it was a huge blessing and i was able to now move myself into a new environment moving yourself into a new environment is letting old energy go and letting new energy come in so that's really important into helping you to rebuild yourself you know what i mean and one step closer to getting that dark cloud off your head Number two I would have to be is getting yourself up and feeling good about yourself again. Like 
I remember when I would just sit in bed and not want to do anything and not want to get dressed and not want to put on makeup and just not want to do anything because it was so exhausting to have to get myself physically together because in order to get myself physically together I had to mentally get myself together first and that's one of the most exhausting things when mentally you don't want to do something but you know you kind of have to but you don't want to and then you just end up being like you know what actually guys I'm not going to be able to make it today like I'm not going to be able to make it tonight. I don't want to go to the movies. I don't want to. And you become that person who you realize you have now missed out on so much because you have just turned down so many opportunities to get out the house and do something. Go take a shower, take a bath, light some candles, you know, I don't know, put a mask on. Just make yourself feel so good about yourself. Self-love. You know what I mean? Like get your nails done. Or, you know, just get a massage done. Do something to show your body, your mind that you love yourself. You know, feel good about yourself. Wake up early and make a, a breakfast that you feel good about that will nurture your insides. Like, that is so important. And you will start to feel better inside, which then will reflect on the outside. So you'll start feeling good about yourself. First step, I feel like picking up a book to read is really important because I feel like that is time that you have now put your phone down. You're not looking at your phone. You're not allowing just all the distractions of life to get to you. But have you ever been on a train and you, no matter what noise is around you, when you're reading a book, it's like you are in your own element. You are just in this element that no one can break. Honestly, I feel like reading a book is so important and especially if it's like a growth book i have this really really beautiful book i'm reading right now that's changing my whole perspective on what i'm thinking about and how i perceive the world and i'll put the link below so that you guys can look at it if you're interested but i feel like that's something that's really huge to self-growth the fourth step i would say is picking a hobby Picking something that you like. For the longest while, like, I used to dance since I was, like, three. And when I finished university, I stopped dancing. Um, I used to, like, salsa dance and ballet and modern and jazz. And I just completely stopped. And it was something I was always passionate about. But I allowed society and getting a job and just paying bills and the stress of life to to get to me where I forgot about the things that I used to love to do you know what I mean so get yourself a hobby get you something that you really really enjoy to do like you know sign up for that dance class sign up for the gym sign up for something that you have to be committed to and that you've paid for that you feel like you know what I have to go to this I have to do it you know like hold yourself accountable for something picking up a hobby allows you to kind of like gain accountability because like yeah I have that dance class on Thursday or you know what I mean like I have this art class if you've always loved art go you know get a canvas and start painting again but most importantly try and do something outside of home if you love art go to one of those sip and paint classes where you can get out of your house and go to art class you know or piano class if you love music do something where you can go out of the house and meet people because that is so important that is so important to your mind because now Think about it, when you weren't doing anything and you were just sitting home, there was so much opportunity for you to criticize yourself because you're not thinking about anything positive. You're not thinking about anything great. You're just, you're home and you're in darkness. So you're just thinking about all the things, you know, all this negative stuff. But when you've now forced yourself to go outside and you see light and you see sun and you see people and you see everyone enjoying it, it is now like, forcing you to enjoy you know what i mean and then you start to feel it and then it's like wow you know this is great i'm gonna go again and then it becomes like it eventually you get yourself out of the cycle something else that i found was really cool is the other day um i bought a plant and this plant was really really healthy when i bought it and i put it in my little um like by my fireplace and then I completely forgot about it for like a week and then I saw it and I was like 
oh my gosh like the plant is dried up because it never got sunlight i did not water it so now the leaves are breaking off like how could i buy a plant that i want to grow but not take care of it and when i looked at it i thought about myself like i was like the plant that i just chose not to water not to to you know nourish not to give light to and no wonder the plant was dying because i didn't take care of the plant i'm just going to show you my plant now so this is my plant <laughs> so if you want i do recommend like get yourself a plant get yourself a plant that you can take care of because it's like a metaphor like you taking care of the plant is you taking care of yourself and if you can take care of this plant that means you're ready to take care of yourself it is still kind of like hard and dried up but i'm definitely making an effort to do better and make sure that my plant will flourish and be beautiful and green and you know what you just sometimes you need plants in your house just to give you new air right and get better filter and also my last thing would have to be yourself in and social media that is probably one of the biggest that probably should have been one of my first ones but that is probably one of the biggest um downfalls or kryptonite i don't know what you want to call it that will be against you because instagram facebook all of those platforms have every reason for you to look and be like Look at what that person's doing in life. That person looks so happy. That person looks and just non-stop comparing yourself to them and thinking of, wow, that person's traveling. That person is doing this. That person's doing that. Look at everything they became and why am I still here? And so immediately, if you can, not if you can, I recommend you do it. Disable your Instagram, disable your social media, come off of social media until you are strong enough within yourself. Can you put social media back on your phone or platform or whatever? But social media really isn't healthy for you because it is all about getting self worth from somebody else. And that's the whole point of all of this is to get self worth from yourself because remember that's how you got the dark cloud over your head in the first place is allowing other people to dictate how you feel about your life about who you're becoming give yourself a break from social media which is why i said you know pick up the book pick up a hobby because that will occupy your mind your eyes you know what i mean so that you're not just automatically picking up your phone to figure out oh what's this person doing what what's that person doing honestly if you can right now take your phone and disable instagram disable facebook disable snapchat because right now this journey is all about you and honestly i went with like six months of like disabling my social media and it was amazing and i realized when i enabled it again is when i started to feel that same harsh critic within myself telling myself you're not good enough so i realize now that instagram is one of my biggest weaknesses or social media in general and that i'm not i'm not mentally strong enough to be on social media and you know what to be honest i don't even know if it's i'm mentally strong enough because i'm strong but i just know how social media is just used for can cause negativity in people's lives that is probably my last step into how you can at least start getting yourself out of that hole and and releasing that dark cloud from over your head those are the little things that i recommend um and i am going to be working on it myself um as well and definitely will give you guys updates on how i'm doing and i want you guys to give me updates and comment and subscribe with me on this journey because this is a platform of growth and also let me know if you guys want me to talk about anything else and just remember at the end of the day slow progress is better than no progress so it is okay if you know what i mean some days you're just not feeling it it's okay but know that each and every day you make one step if you can make one step to grow a little bit further than where you were yesterday 
you're already you're already ahead of the game right so anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video i know it was a bit long but your girl had a lot to say so yeah make sure you like and subscribe and thanks for watching my channel bye guys